Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Valder, how are you? Dr. Donald Lloyd-Jones, I'm just healthy, well, and blessed. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Good to see you again. Well, it's good to have you here. It, well, it's good to have you here. <laughs> you know, my mother would always say it's good to be seen, heard, yep. and among the living. So I want to thank you for coming to talk about the American Heart Association. You guys have an announcement that you're updating the measure for cardiovascular health. Could you tell me about that? Well, that's right. You know, back in 2010, the American Heart Association first kind of defined how we can understand optimal heart and brain health. We call that Life's Simple Seven, and it included things like diet, physical activity, smoking, your weight, your cholesterol, your blood pressure, and your blood sugar. And we've learned a lot about that in the last 12 years. And so we took this opportunity to update that construct, but add a new factor, and that's sleep health. So we now call it Life's Essential Eight for optimal heart and brain health. Oh, I like that. Okay. So what changes... Uh, Are there other changes in how we measure heart and brain health? Yeah. So, um, you know, in addition to now recommending that people on average should get seven to nine hours of sleep per night, um, we've also taken the opportunity to look at those original seven metrics and say, well, you know, we can actually do a better job of measuring diet and understanding what does a healthy eating pattern look like in our current context, our current environment. We also give people a little bit more credit for the physical activity, the amount and the the types of physical activity that they're doing each week. And we've also updated so that we're considering all nicotine exposure, not just smoking, but also things like vaping and secondhand smoke exposure also. Okay, I want my audience to know that Dr. Donald Lloyd-Jones, he's a medical doctor, and he's also president of the American Heart Association. So this is good information, so you guys listen closely. Dr. Jones, let me ask you this. Um, How can people incorporate this additional finding into our daily routine for health? You know, sleep is really central to so many things uh, and important for our body. So there are some important things to help make sure that you get your best sleep and that you give your heart and your brain a chance to rest every night. So again, we're shooting for seven to nine hours per week. Some of the things that can help you get that are being sure to be physically active every single day so that you tire your body out, uh, easier to go to sleep. Make sure you have a regular routine so that you're getting in bed and you're getting up pretty much the same time every day, whether it's a weekday or a weekend. Really important, put those devices away so that your phone's not sitting on your bedside table as a distraction or, you know, an attractive nuisance, I guess, right? If we, if we have a bright light in front of our face or if we're engaging with content on our phone, it's just really hard for your brain to switch off. And then finally, try to avoid heavy meals, caffeine and alcohol within the few hours before going to bed because they'll also disrupt your sleep as well. I'm going to take this because my audience listens and views me on multiple platforms. And this question comes from Instagram. They want to know they're using a Fitbit to walk 10,000 steps a day. Is that enough? Well, it's going to be a little bit different for everybody, right? Um, You know, in part, it it depends on how much energy you're taking in. But, you know, certainly that's a great target to shoot for, Um, particularly if you're, you know, walking as briskly as you can. That's going to be a good amount of physical activity to keep your heart and brain healthy and should also help you with uh, getting better sleep quality as well. Thank you, Poster. I'm going to take this one from Twitter. They want to say that they are a baby boomer and they're aging well, but they say their brain just doesn't remember as much as it used to be. Is there something they can do? Well, so, you know, I think if if that's disrupting their life, if they really are becoming forgetful and it's potentially a safety issue, they certainly should mention that to their doctor. But again, many of the things that we're talking about, physical activity, 
good sleep hygiene, a healthy diet, all those things can keep your brain healthier longer and also help with some of these issues too. Okay. Well, Dr. Jones, I'd like to recommend that they read books that I recommend because <laughs> reading makes you, forces your brain to work. How about that? We'll add that one on there. Dr. Jones, where do we go online and find, do you have these uh, um, what to do anywhere online? Yeah, so if people want to learn more about Life's Essential Eight, they can go to the American Heart Association's website at heart.org, and they can actually do their own assessment, just answer some questions, and get their Life's Essential Eight score so they can understand what's doing well and what they might want to focus on to improve. And there's lots of great content there uh, on the website, heart.org. All right, I'm headed over there because I need to know how I'm doing also. Dr. Jones, thank you for stopping by the Val DeRibi Show. It's been pleasurable. Great to be with you. Thanks so much, Val. I host the Val DeRibi Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.